Hello, this is Audrey from Different Results. I am here to do my cash envelopes and to also explain to you what, I, what I'm doing different. So this here is my sinking funds. This here are my cash envelopes. So I added, these, I added an extra $50, $20, $10, and $5. So when I go to the bank, I ask for three hundreds, four fifties, three twenties, no, four twenties. Okay, this is after I added it on, I'm sorry. Three hundreds, three fifties, three twenties, three tens. That is not three tens. That is eleven tens and five fives. So, just wanted you to see how I calculate my dollars. So when I go to the bank, I just ask for that. So, when I get home, all I have to do is put the um, money in the envelope. So, that's that. So, here we go. This is fast food, $50. Hair, 55 Now, I was doing hair, uh, 55 no, $100 initially. Now, I will be doing extra because and I had sister locks. For almost 10 years, I ended up cutting my hair, and now I want to grow my hair, grow some, some more locks. This time, there will be regular locks and not sister locks. Um, so, after they started, they started it a month ago, and after they do it a couple of times, I'm going to do it on my own, so that will save me. But right now, it's an investment. $100 for gas. Miscellaneous, a hundred dollars. I added an additional thirty dollars to food. When I did my calculations for March, I realized I was putting more into food than I, uh, way more in food than I want would like to. So I added a couple of more dollars to food. Um, so that would be a hundred and fifty, seventy, eighty, a hundred and eighty dollars. Which I was doing a hundred and fifty. So, I had an extra $30. So, then we have our sinking funds. So, that would be my daughter's sports for um, the summer, my daughter's birthday, uh, me for my birthday, and my son for his birthday. So, we have one, two, three, five is eight. And that's, that's an additional... 10 is, let's see, what am I, what did I do here? Oh, you know what? I did, let's see, 20, 30, 5, 36, 37, 38. That would go in my daughter's summer uh, envelope, which would leave her with $76. Then we have 5, 25. That would go in my daughter's envelope for her birthday, which would leave 25, I mean 50. And then we have me, which would leave 40. And then we have 20, 40, 60, 85, 86, 7, and 8. 88 dollars, which would leave my son with 264 dollars. So, I I figure since I have a couple dollars in the house, we're not going to say how much in the house, but I do have a couple dollars in the house. So what I did, I, I went and found an old box that I had. I found an old security box that I had that had a lot of stuff in it. And I looked at the dates on this stuff. I'm telling you this stuff. The stuff go back to 2009. So, this wasn't planned, but I think I'll put this in there. So, this Brinks box and I looked, I found the video to see what this was, how to get in here. Guys, you see this? This is not a cheap little box. And I broke in here with a paper clip. Let me not lock it back. So I will be putting money in here for now on. And it locks back. I just can't believe it's this easy. I was going to buy one, and then I said, well, wait a minute. 
let me go back and see if I have a, um, my old box from years ago when I used to keep uh, money in the house a long time ago. But I said I found it, and I said this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to keep the money in here to keep it secure. Even though, no, I mean, I don't have a lot of company, so I don't worry, no company. So I don't have to worry about money coming up missing. But it's just the idea that money is in the house with just open. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I did my coins. I just put them in a the bucket. I counted it out. I think I counted today. My coins added up to $70 and I think 23 cents. So, again, I have my silver coins in a five-gallon water bucket and my pennies in a, a coffee container. Recycling, right? So, I thank you for watching my video, and I go hope you guys have a blessed day.